Oh, Jonas of him. Jonas, why don't you have me Jonas? Because he's too smart for you. Let's not be in competition. Let us chill out. That's the, the greatest thing. Now, today I want to emphasize something that Rissi Sunak said yes, yesterday. Do you know what he said? Do you know the scripture that he read during the coronation in the book of Colossians? Quite amazing. What I like about the coronation, how many of you were at the coronation or saw it on the telly? You saw it? I thought so. I was pointing at him. Don't be so jealous. I don't have to give you all the attention all the time, Osmond. You know? No. How many of you enjoyed the coronation? You enjoyed it. Nobody? You didn't like it? Why not? Something formal didn't mean anything to you? That the king was crowned and the queen was crowned? Would you be quiet? A woman speaking. Go ahead. Be quiet. Of course, of course, the whole royal family's formal. Isn't it? I mean, come on. Very formal. But, well, it was meaningful to him and to this country because he was set in in the coronation as king, anointed. It was a religious ceremony. Did you notice that? You couldn't miss that the coronation was religious, right? Did you notice that? It was actually... Religious in every way. Not only religious, but Christian. Christian. It wasn't Islamic. It wasn't Mormons. It wasn't Hindu. It, wasn't it was a Christian it was coronation. It was Muhammad. I do believe Muhammad was a man, yes. He was a prophet, yeah. <laughs> he was. Said Jesus was a man. I believe Muhammad was a prophet. A false prophet. Hey, you Jewish guy. But we'll Why get there in a moment. No. Did you notice in the coronation how there were scriptures after scriptures after scriptures and a big cross everywhere? And did Jesus die on that cross? Did you notice that this is not a Muslim or any other religious uh, country? That it was founded on the Bible well, and the sure. truth of God. Country. Did you notice that? Excuse me. Did you, know? you watch. Keep talking and listen. Did you notice? You don't answer oh, me. No, really. I can multitask. Keep going. Answer me. Did you notice that when Charles was sworn in, he laid his hand on the Bible? Uh, which did you notice that? Morning? It wasn't the Quran. Yeah, which Bible it was you not holding? the Quran. Got so many different Bibles. Yeah. Did you notice it was not the Bhagwa Gita? And it was not any Bible. No. Go home and get it. Hey, hey. Which, just, just, just a minute. I do take arguments one at a time. Catholic Bible, no. 73 books. No, I don't mind if you books. argue. This Bible is 66 But we are England and we queue here. Which one? No. Which Bible? No. We have a big competition yes. with Muslims yes. against Christians. And you always lose. Christians never compete. Christians have different because Bibles. We Jesus the same Christ already won. He rose from the dead. Who? Did you get any better How than that? God die? No. He said God raised from the dead. When you understand, when you understand that your sins can be forgiven through the blood of Jesus Christ, oh, blood of who Jesus. gave us the speak. opportunity to have <laughs> our sins Jesus. forgiven. You know that there is no competition. 
Okay, can I ask you a question? How many people did Jesus kill? How many people did Jesus kill? Zero! Zero. Oh, I've been killing people today, brother! What are you guys doing? Jesus Christ came with the sword of the Spirit! How many people did Muhammad kill? Bible says kill men, kill women, kill children, kill infants, kill donkeys, kill doctors, in the first book of Samuel, chapter 15, it is a dead religion. Because you kill people. Chinese people kill Jesus Christ says, I am the way, and the light. Hey, yeah, will yeah, you guys yeah. stop it? Oh, You're supposed to be mocking me, not each other. No, Get it right. That's a good question. It's it's right. Right. No, I'm against terrorism. That's no, why. Right. I'm going to read to you, especially you. Can I ask you a question? How many wives do you have? How many wives do you have? How many wives? Do you have? How many wives? Stupid question. How can you be here? Oh, oh, I can one wife and she's female. Just to let you know, Muhammad had 13 wives. Hey, have you been reading? Him. Are you jealous? Yeah. Looks like he's got a whole lot of guys down his stomach. You stick to what? Okay, husband. You're a jog. Listen to what? We did soon as Fred. He said, talking of Jesus, Yes, who was a man? He a delivered man. us from the domain of darkness and transferred Hallelujah. us to the kingdom of his beloved son. Ooh, son. More yeah. than a man, Ooh, son. he was hey. God in the flesh. In whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. Can Mohammed forgive your sins? No. No. Only God. No. Only God. Only God. Only God. Only God. Only Jesus. No. 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 Come here and read this. You will find out that Islam is a young religion. Very young. Jesus Christ fulfilled the law and the prophets because he was God in the flesh. Islam fulfills religious duty therefore it qualifies itself as a religion of works Jesus Christ said I am the way the truth and the life anyone who desires to come to the Father must come through me the difference in Islam and every other religion but Christianity is that Jesus Christ God in the flesh loved us and died for our sins how did Muhammad love you? How did love Muhammad love you? Muhammad forgives everyone? Well, there you go. Your young convert believes it. There's a lot of confusion in Islam. Let you be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Respect. He answers. He's a child. Is that your he's son? A child. Is that your no, son? No, he's not my well, then son. be quiet no, no, no. and just be a good he video he's man. A child. No. He's in the 16. Really? Are you a cowboy? Are you jealous? <laughs> Jesus Christ died for the children too. Don't leave them out. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Do you know you can have everlasting life? Life so it's forgiveness of your sins. Does Islam give you everlasting Everlasting life, get back here, I'm not yes, done with you yet. Does Islam guarantee you heaven? 
Yes, God, God. No, God, God. no, but Jesus said, for God so loved the world, and he's talking about himself. He said he gave his one and only son, talking about himself, that whosoever believes in him will have everlasting life. Jesus said, by my that son, my is God, do not the word of God in the flesh. That is love. Without that, you've just got dead religion. Do you know you can be forgiven now? Do you know that? Nice shoes. Read it. Read it. Would you call that burnt orange? Do you know that every shoe that is a good shoe has a soul? Because you walk on that soul? Do you know that every one of us that are human beings are born with a soul within? We don't walk on it. We don't abuse it like a shoe. It is the possession of God. And God desires to change the soul. Did you know that? God desires to give us peace. Do you know what peace is? Here is a representative of someone that has no peace. He has no, I know him. I've known him for 30 years. His name is us, no peace. That's why he's here, not over there speaking. You see, Jesus said, my peace I give you. It's not the peace of this world. It is the peace of God. If God created us, have you ever thought about this, young 16-year-old? If God created us, do you believe God created us? I said, who were the first Christians in the whole world? Do you believe God created you? Do you believe God can do anything? Are you sure? Ask your father, can God do anything? And God can have a son and die for the sins of the world. Who is you forgetting that part of anything? No one is God do anything. How can God be a spirit? How can God? How can God create the world? How can God do anything? Do you, do you know why? Do you know why you believe what you believe? Because no, because the book called the Quran says. We're number one. Yes, we are. It doesn't make you number one. Listen, number one is in my crowd because he can't get anybody to listen to him more than his own. Listen, you cannot say that you are a, the number one religion that's only 1,400 years old. Anybody can do that. But his Bible is Anybody can say, old. where are the, you, so know, you know that Coke not did that to Pepsi? Bible. It's you a know new that? Bible. Coke, Coke said, Pepsi is not number His Bible was published in 1611, King James' version. Coca-Cola to you. No, you say there's only, no, who told you, who told you that God had no son? You can ask your father. Who told you? Who told you? The Quran. Who told the Quran? There's only one true God, yeah? Muhammad. So it's a vicious circle. The Quran, Muhammad. But there's no corroborating story. Why don't you that's your Bible, man? It's part of the Bible. It's artificial you know? intelligence. It doesn't it's know about the Holy Quran. He was talking about the Quran. I've got to remember what, because the Quran says something, it's got to be true. That's what Hitler made all the people believe. That didn't look like a preacher or a cowboy. But God, so was Muhammad. God 
was and is the lover of mankind, not the killer. on the aeroplane, you know. Let me ask you something. How many of you believe Islam is a peaceful religion? How many of you are Muslims? The same one! The same one! Nobody that's not a Muslim throws their hands. How many dead in Iraq? How many dead in Iraq? Let me ask you something. One million in Iraq. Just a minute. How many I'll get to you in a moment. How many dead in Iraq? One million. Exactly. One you million dead. You want to talk about terrorism? One million dead. How about How many London are dead in Iraq? underground on 7-7? Answer the question. In the name of Allah. How many are dead and in Iraq? And I want to tell you. In the name of Jesus. There's nobody killing in the name of Jesus. There's nobody killing in the name of Jesus. How many dead in the name of Jesus? How many dead in the name of Jesus? Jesus killed nobody. He was murdered and rose from the dead for your sins and mine. That is love. How can a God die? Who did Muhammad die for? He died for his own. His own sins. Oh, Muhammad. Muhammad died rejecting Jesus as the Savior. And somebody made up a religion. Now, folks, you can't have a singular book and say this book is the evidence of this book. Yes, we can. Prove it wrong. You cannot do that. Prove it wrong. Prove it wrong. We have only one Quran. Let me ask you one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Prove it one Muslim, one angry Muslim at a time. Just a minute. How many Christians do we have? They understand the whistle. Now, young man, read this. This is the Quran. This side, this side is Arabic. This side is English. So, who's written that? This oh the, this this Quran is yes <laughs> it's an amazing you, you read it last week and you said it was true <laughs> don't lie now I'm gonna ask you to read one read it right there what does that say yes. So he revealed to thee the truth, the book of truth, and that which was before it, the gospel and the Torah. Absolutely. The gospel and the Torah were before it, but this one says we're number one, but this was before it. Yes, absolutely. Na, 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 na. People cheating! People cheating! Now, you were told people changed it. Who changed it, young man? You're just being a parrot of your father, I believe. No, people changed it. So he's making it on his own move. Name it. He's making it on his own move. Well, okay. Who, just a minute. Answer his question. Who changed it? People are precious of Islam. Who told you? I've learned about it. Uh-huh. Because it is coming from here. Not from any fact, it's just a religious remark that has been parroted all along in Islam. Islam had no relevance until what time? When did Islam come about? 1400s. 1400 years ago. He says 1400. All right, 1400. So about 700, right? So before that Islam started, there was no such thing as Islam. Zero. Walla. Google it. Google it. Nothing in the world named Islam. But what? was before 
a made up story of his life. But it's picked up. The word of God. No, folks, you can go and look in the British Museum and see the oldest Bible and the oldest Quran. But that's not the oldest Bible. Which Bible? Which Bible? Any Bible. Stop whining. God's right Bible. Please stop whining when you want a free truth. God's a lot of snowflake Muslims that are whiners. Which Bible? I just say, read any Bible. Which Bible? Which Bible? Say that again. Which Bible? Which Bible? Answer. Answer the question. Which Bible? <laughs> no, folks. Let's go to the mall to check which Bible. You have what? What is God? Let God. Let God answer the question. They all understand football. No, no, you better watch out. No, yes. Can I just add something? Please go ahead, my brother. Okay. Go ahead. Why? Nice yellow. Why does the Quran copy the words of Jesus? Why the Quran copy the words of Jesus? Who's told you that? This is simple. Oh, yeah. Think God, that. God is the source. Okay. The Quran copies when Jesus Christ in Israel said it is hard for a rich man to enter paradise than for a, a camel to go through the eye of the needle. Only the Lord Jesus in world history has ever said that. So why does the Quran copy that? Why does the Quran copy those words? Why, why does the Quran copy the words of Jesus Christ. How do you know Jesus Christ? They copy the words of the Quran. Because they wanted a little bit of freedom. There. You tell you don't even listen to what Jesus said. But why do you copy it? Answer the question. Why? Answer the question. I am asking you so many questions. No, I didn't say ask. I said answer the question. You're a Christian. He's a Jew boy. He can't answer the question. Keep going. He's not really interested because he's not all there. Right. Those no, you're you not all here either. For those that want to know, ask yourself, why does the Quran, which came 800 years after Jesus Christ in Israel, who said it is hard for a rich man to enter paradise like a camel through the eye of a needle? And so, so answer so, the question. It's not all time. Be quiet. You can't answer the You can't answer his simple question. Uh, uh, he's a Jewish guy. What do you want? Let, let the child do it, he's better at it. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Okay, you can't answer Yes, the yes. What's the question? They can't answer your question, but they're giving you the question. Right, young man. If the Quran is God's word, yes, it and is. it is from eternity yes. on the tablets in paradise according to Islamic thinking, then why does it copy the exact words of Jesus Christ in AD 30 in Israel? Let's run away. You run away. You are run away. You want to the camera. You are run away. You are run away. Let's run away. Hey, go pray for an answer. Right. Why do you pray? You pray. Run away. Make it short. Make it a long prayer. But Jesus prayed. So I'm going to pray. I'm praying for you while you're praying for the answer. Right, what's the answer, Mr. Muslim? The source of Bible and Quran is the same.